Welcome once again to SFF 180 Retro, a series where I discuss older SFF titles, not necessarily major classics, but books worthy of rediscovery all the same. On this episode, a man is pursued along a highway that spans both past and future and accesses alternate timelines in Roger Zelazny's Road Marks. Hello everyone, Thomas here, your host as always. Thank you so much for joining me. In February of 2021, it was announced that HBO, under the auspices of George R.R. R. Martin, has greenlit a new series based on Roger Zelazny's 1979 novel Road Marks. Zelazny was, during his lifetime, one of the genre's most admired talents, whose most well-known work is the ten-volume Chronicles of Amber series. Zelazny enjoyed telling stories rooted in high mythology, while giving them a kind of hard-boiled Pulp Fiction edge. He won six Hugos throughout his career, one of which, for his 1966 novel, This Immortal, tied for the best novel Hugo with Dune. Zelazny died in 1995. When I saw the news about the Roadmarks series, it struck me that while the book today is probably going to be totally obscure to anybody under 50, <laughs> the premise is actually perfect material to be revived for a TV series. Zelazny was never done justice on the big screen. The only movie I can think of to come from one of his books was a pitifully cheesy and unfaithful adaptation of his post-apocalyptic novel, Damnation Alley, that came out in 1977. I recall that movie had a badass futuristic RV that was an actual custom full-sized vehicle that drove, uh, but otherwise it was total shit. I'm crossing my fingers that Road Marks ends up in better hands. The novel is a dreamlike concoction that takes place along a highway that stretches through time rather than place. You can travel back to the age of the dinosaurs or forward nearly as far. Various branches off the road can lead you to histories that never really happened. A person stumbles upon the road seemingly by accident, although it is hinted that those who travel the road are in fact linked to it in mysterious ways. Traveling the road is Red Dorakeen, whom we first meet as he is apprehended trying to run guns back to the Greeks so they can defeat the Persians at the Battle of Marathon in the 5th century BCE. Dorakeen learns that he is the target of a Black Decade, a series of ten attempts on his life authorized by the hidden creators of the road. Dorakeen knows his nemesis is Chadwick, a former business partner with whom he had a falling out, but he isn't sure why Chadwick suddenly wants him extremely dead. Chadwick recruits several hitmen for this task, while at the same time, Dorakeen's son, Randy, has been guided to the road and has hooked up with Layla, a former traveling companion of Red's. The two of them are searching for Red, Randy for obvious filial reasons. He's never known Red, who fathered him during one of his off-ramp excursions, and Layla because she thinks she has some clues as to what is really the road's purpose and what Red's and everyone else's roles are in the unfolding drama. At only about 185 pages, Roadmarks is a tale Zelazny could easily have expanded into a plodding, overly serious epic. Zelazny never really went in for overlong books as a rule. Yes, he does resolve his story while leaving some unanswered questions. I admit that I didn't think Chadwick's motivations for wanting Dorkeen assassinated were as clear as they should have been, and this made me feel less concern over Dorakeen's safety than I should have. But where the mystery of the road is concerned, the book tantalizes you with a light touch that only enhances your curiosity. Zelazny knew that to reveal too much could mean robbing your tale of that sense of wonder, that aura of magic. If you read carefully, there is enough revealed there to complete the story and to satisfy your craving for information about the road and its incredible creators. The climax is truly something. When I read this years ago, <laughs> it occurred to me back then how many more stories could be told using the highway as a backdrop. The potential is limitless, which is why I think it will make excellent source material for a TV series, basically combining the road trip story with the time travel story. Exactly why Zelazny never revisited the road before his untimely death in 1995, we may never know. Perhaps he thought he had told the story he wanted to tell. Hopefully, the series will end up in the right creative hands and deliver an experience that will honor the original while expanding its horizons. 
And that is all I've got time for on this episode of SFF 180 Retro. Remember, the most important thing, you guys, these are reviews. You will not always agree with me, but if you enjoyed watching, please hit that like button, share the video far and wide with all of your SFF reading friends, and above all, please subscribe. If you have not done so, that is how the channel grows. You can also support the channel at my Tee Public store and at my Patreon, where recruits into Wink's Army get little perks like getting to see some of my videos early access. I want to thank those lovely people for their additional support. The Patreon money is how I pay my channel artist, Matt Olson, for all of the lovely thumbnails that he does for me. So I want to thank them again for this support. It is greatly appreciated, especially during these difficult times. And I want to thank all the rest of you guys for being the very best viewers in all of BookTube. And until I see all of you next time, stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, and happy reading.